Let's try it again. Good morning, Henrietta. Or maybe you don't know what it is. Should we be really loud? No. No, you're right. Around all animals, you want to be really, really quiet. So everybody go, shh. Nice. Second. Quiet. So everybody do this. Everybody say stop. Stop. Now you do better. Everybody say stop. Stop. In the name of love. Just kidding. Whole different show. Whole different show. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. When I get out an animal, if you think you know what it is, all you have to do is silently raise your hand if you have an answer or a question on that. And, but if I say the word everybody, I want you to answer out loud. So I say everybody. What do you do? What do you do? Answer out loud. Cool. Here's my first everybody question. What state do we live in, everybody? Texas. Texas. Texas, good. My mom says I live in the state of confusion. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're going to start out in Texas for this first animal. But before we do that, we've got to talk about what does it mean to be cold-blooded. Cold-blooded, that means they have ice cubes in their veins, right? No. No, that means they live in ice chest, right? No. No. What does it mean to be cold-blooded? Does anybody have an answer? Can you raise your hand? What does it mean to be cold-blooded? What do you think? What do you think? Did you forget? Okay. Anybody want to help her? What do you think it is? I think it's that they have cold blood. Okay. A lot of people think that. That's why I was saying, do they have ice cubes in their blood? No. Do they live in ice chests? No. What do you think it is? Whenever they're cold, they're cold. Whenever they're hot, they're hot. Okay. Whenever they're cold, they're cold. Whenever they're hot, they're hot. Well, here's what you can think of. Animals that are cold blood are typically reptiles. So we're going to talk about reptiles today. We're going to talk about the four groups of reptiles. And you're on the right track. Reptiles actually have to have the sun to heat them up. I think of reptiles as solar powered. Does that make sense? So they're powered by the sun. So whatever the temperature is in this room, that's what temperature they're going to be. If they're outside, if it's 90 degrees, they're probably going to be 90 degrees. So they have to have the sun to heat themselves up. So again, we're going to talk about the four groups of reptiles today. Now, I have a surprise for you. You like surprises? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. So here's what you need to know. As long as we're quiet, calm, and still, we raise our hand for asking questions and answering questions. And when I say everybody, everybody answers out loud. At the end of our adventure, guess what? You all get to touch the last animal on the way out of here. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, even cooler than that. If you can stick around, I'll let you all hold the last animal for our video audience to check that out. Does that sound good? Yeah. Awesome, cool. All right, so here's the first animal. We're going to get our first animal. His name is Freckles, all right? Yeah, Freckles. He comes from right here in Texas. You already told me that's where we're going. So when I get him out, if you think you know what he is, just silently raise your hand. You know what? He's in this ice chest. I've got to get him out of there before his tongue freezes to the pole. I don't know if it's the North Pole or the South Pole, but we better get him out of here so he doesn't get too cold because you already said cold-blooded critters, whatever temperature it is inside their environment, that's what temperature they are. Howdy, partner. <laughs> Oh, now wait a second. I thought we said quiet, calm, and still. So that tells me that we need to do some research and some investigating and some learning about this animal. Because I can tell you already have some misconceptions and some fears about this. So raise your hand and you can tell me what is this. First of all, what is this? What animal is this? 
A snake. How many people think it's a snake? Uh, that's the easy part. You all got that right. This is a snake. Does anybody know what kind of snake it is, though? No, Raise your hand snake. if you can tell me. What kind of snake do you think it is? Um, a bull snake. A what? A bull. a bull snake. That's a good answer for around here. But bull snakes are a little bit lighter. They're a little bit more yellow and brown and black. This guy is black with a little bit of yellow mixed in. Well, let me ask you this. Is it a rattlesnake? No. No. no you know how you can tell right away? What's it back here? Does it have a rattle? No. no rattle, so it's not a rattlesnake. The other reason this is not a rattlesnake is what is Mr. B doing? Holding it. I'm holding it. You see my fingers here? Yeah. If I'm holding a snake, it's non-venomous. All right, keep that in mind. And rattlesnakes are venomous. How but guess what? This has a lot to do with rattlesnakes, all right? This guy is actually called a king snake. Everybody say king snake. King snake. Very good. He's actually called a speckled king snake. Now, if you look at his head right here really close, on the top of his head, he's called a king snake because he's wearing a crown on his head. You see the crown on his head? What? I was just kidding. He's not wearing a crown on his head. <laughs> I know. He's called a king snake because he likes to eat at Burger King, right? <laughs> no, that's not it either. He's actually called a king snake because he likes to kill and eat other... <gasps> What's in this picture? Snakes. 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 What kind of snake is this? A rattlesnake. No, see the rattle? So this guy right here, the king snake, can kill and eat rattlesnakes, copperheads, water moccasins, coral snakes, non-venomous snakes, even rats and mice. Y'all like eating rats and mice? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. Everybody go, yuck. Yeah. Very good. So this guy loves to eat those things. Now, he does it in a special way. Check this out. Every once in a while, did you notice Did you notice him sticking out his tongue? Yeah. There it goes. Yep. So when he's sticking out his tongue, he's saying, nanny, nanny, boo, boo, right? No, no, that's not why he's sticking out his tongue. Raise your hand and tell me, why do they stick out their tongues, yes? To smell. To smell. Cool science experiment. Everybody grab your nose. All right, now stick out your tongue. Are you smelling anything? Are you laughing at the way I smell? Okay, good. So see, we can't smell with our tongues, but snakes do that to find their favorite food, which is peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, right? No. What do they like to eat again? Rattlesnakes. Snakes and mice and rats. Very good. Here we go. Yuck. Yeah. All right, cool. So this guy loves to sneak up on these snakes. He's going to slither up here. He's going to smell it with his tongue. He's going to strike out and grab him with his arms and legs, right? Where is his no. arms and legs? Yeah, he doesn't have arms and legs, right? So he's going to grab him with a fork and knife, right? No, All he right. doesn't have arms and legs. Right, he doesn't have a pocket. He can't store a fork and knife in there. So raise your hand and tell me, what does he catch the rat or mouse or the rattlesnake with? What does he catch it with? I forgot. You forgot. What does he catch it with? Uh, his tail. You think he's a rodeo cowboy. He's like, woo, 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 woo. And he ropes it, right? No, he doesn't do that. Everybody do this. Everybody smile at me. What are these things? Teeth. Teeth. Good. Do snakes have teeth? No. Yes, they do. Now, how many teeth do you have in your big head? A thousand. Close. Everybody say 32. 32. Very good. This little snake right here, he has more teeth in his little head than you have in your big head. You know how many teeth this guy has? Mm. 60. Yeah, yeah, a lot of teeth. They're all angled backwards like fish hooks, very sharp. And everybody say, catch! catch. Very good. So he catches his food with his teeth. Now that he caught it, he has to kill it because this guy's non-venomous. Now, everybody, if you haven't done this today, give yourself a hug today. Squeeze! Don't hug yourself. You're too important to us. All right, cool. Now, this guy squeezes so tight that he stops the heart, heart from beating. Yeah, when the heart stops beating, does the breathing stop? Yeah. Yeah, he does. So he caught it, he killed it. Everybody say squeeze. squeeze. Good. So step one was catch. Step two was squeeze. Now step three, he's got a big old rattlesnake sticking out of his head. How is he going to swallow something two to three times the size of his head? Does oh, he cut it up? You can eat that giant cheeseburger in one bite because your bottom jaw, everybody say stretch. Oh, okay. Yeah, it would stretch to your belly button, okay? So that's actually what happens with a snake's head. Now, don't try that trick at home. It's pretty painful. But you can kind of think of a snake's head like a rubber band. Check this out. So a snake's head can actually stretch really good this way. But that's not all they do. Ever feel your jaw right here? You feel that jawbone? Yeah. Do snakes have that jawbone? No. no, it's completely open right there. So not only do snakes go this way, look, they go sideways too. That's how they eat something two to three times the size of their head. Pretty cool trick, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. So everybody say stretch. 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 Very good. Now the next question I want to ask you, how many people think snakes are slimy? How many people think snakes are slimy? How many people think snakes are not slimy? All right, so we have two schools of thought in the room and out there in video land, I'm sure. So here's what we want to tell you. In science, we call that a, an educated guess. Even more special than that, everybody say hypothesis. hypothesis. All right, so we have a hypothesis that some say it's slimy, some say it's not slimy. We have to reach an answer. Everybody say conclusion. conclusion. Very good. So I need a volunteer that would like to touch it and tell everybody if it's slimy or not. Your hand went up fast. Come on up. 
All right, come right here next to me. All right, so what's your name? Lindley. Lindley? Have you ever touched a snake before? You can't say that after the day. Two fingers like this, I want you to touch right there. Is it slimy or smooth and dry? Very smooth and dry. So snakes are smooth and dry. Now, Lindley, if you would, do me a favor. Put two hands out flat like this. I'm going to give you the tail part. Hold that up. Good. Now, Lindley, does that feel like a big floppy worm or is it pretty strong? Pretty strong. Cool. Everybody out here and out in video land. Everybody feel your neck back here. Do you all have a backbone or did we scare it out of you? <laughs> Nobody's a puddle of goo yet, right? You have a backbone. All right. Everybody say vertebrate. Yeah, that's what it means to have a backbone. Now, how many people think snakes have a backbone? How many people think snakes are invertebrates without a backbone? All right, so we have two schools of thought. Lindley, with your thumb, push really hard on his back. You feel anything hard in there? What do you think it is? A backbone. So snakes have a backbone. She has a backbone. I have a backbone, too. Woo! How about you? Yeah, you all have a backbone. Exactly. So we're all vertebrates. Now, hey, everybody give her a hand for holding this. That's awesome. Now, since they gave you a hand, give them two thumbs up for clapping for you. You need a snarf and a hat. Nice. Give her a hand, everybody. Nice job, Lily. All right, let's get some magic soap right here. Let's rub your hands good together. All right, very good. And here you go. Thanks for helping me. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, cool. Now, here's something else you guys can know and do. When this snake gets scared or frightened and really stressed out, just like we're going through some stressful times right now, this guy likes to play Monopoly, right? No. Here's what he does. Everybody do this. Here we go. Yeah. He can hiss. He makes noise with his tongue, right? His tongue makes that noise, right? No. His tongue does not make that noise. He actually makes that noise with his nostrils and his mouth. So he can push air out and it makes a hiss. Now here's something really cool. When he gets really scared or frightened and stressed out, he can take his tail and he can wiggle it in leaves and it sounds like a rattlesnake. rattlesnake. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Everybody say goodbye, Freckles. Goodbye, goodbye, Freckles. All right. Well, let's keep things moving. Y'all having fun? Yeah. All right, cool. So we're going to move on to our next cold-blooded critter. We'll get to some questions in just a moment. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually leave Texas. We're going to drop down to a really cool place. Everybody say, good day, mate. Good day, mate. Yeah. We're going to go all the way down to Australia, the land down under, for this next animal. This next animal is actually related to the snakes, all right? So we're talking about the first group of reptiles. It has snakes in it, and it's also going to have this girl in it. Her name is Peaches. All right. When I get Peaches out, if you think you know what she is, just silently raise your hand. We'll talk about her. This is Peaches from Australia. Let's see what we have. All you have to do is raise your hand if you think you know. All right. Remember, quiet, calm, and still. Good day, mates. Raise your hand if you can tell me what are you looking at here. We got some thoughts out there. Raise your hand if you think you know what you're looking at. It. So, what do you think? A koala. No, a koala is a mammal and they're kind of furry, but good thought. They do come from Australia. What do you think this is? A bearded dragon. A bearded dragon. Yes, this is a bearded dragon. It's a type of lizard. You see this beard of spines right here? Yeah, so she has a beard of spines. Now, since she's a dragon, imagine your story. You've learned a lot about dragons, right? You've read about dragons. So since she's a dragon, in order to defend herself, she shoots fire out of her face, right? That would be awesome, right? But no, she doesn't shoot fire out of her face. Here's what she does to defend herself. Everybody can help me with this, even you at home. Everybody do this. Everybody go, ooh. Yeah, puff up with air. So this animal actually can do that. Look, she can puff up with air. She can make herself look much bigger. That's a pretty cool trick. All right, so uh, remember, hands if you have a question, but we're going to get to those in just a minute. So you might want to keep your hands down until we're done talking, and then I will give you a chance to ask. So here's what she does. She puffs up with air, and then there's something else that happens. When an animal comes by and she doesn't want in her territory, everybody take your head up high like this. Now bob it up and down really fast. That's what she does to scare away her enemies. Pretty exciting, right? Yeah, doesn't look that exciting to us, but it does work for her. So that's how she can scare away her enemies. Now, as we're looking at her, what colors do we see on her? I see brown and Brown and? Yeah. Two things here. Lizards and snakes, how are they related? Well, we know they're all what kind of animal? Um, Everybody? Uh, reptiles. 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 They're all reptiles, right. Secondly, most of them smell with their? Tongue. Tongue. Tongue, exactly. And all of them do this. What is this? Yeah, they shed their skin. So this is a big old snake skin. This is from a big old Burmese python. 
Now, snakes shed their skin in one piece, and it comes inside out, kind of like your socks do. And then when you're at home, you just throw them on the floor, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Yeah. And I'll tell you what. You might want to start picking those up for mom and dad. You might even ask them if, they, if you can learn how to uh, uh, do the laundry. You might be getting a lot of cool rewards for helping out clean up your room and do the laundry and that'd be awesome right like when i learned that when i was about 10 years old you know mom would always be like clean your room take out the trash do the laundry <laughs> you know, do you hear that do you <laughs> do y'all hear that sometimes yeah. do you yeah. get tired of hearing that yeah. i can fix that for you you know how just pick up your room without mom and dad Gunner. asking asking Gunner. if you can help do the laundry Gunner. sometime learn how to do it and guess what they'll start saying things like oh, your room it looks awesome do you want to go to the movies? Do you want to go to the bowling alley? Do you want to go skating? Do you want to go to the amusement park? I was like, yes, 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 yes. But guess what? It wasn't about getting stuff. I started feeling good in my heart because I was helping people. So you might try that this summer. You think? It might work. You never know. All right, cool. So uh, lizards actually shed their skin in little pieces. And you know what? Some lizards even eat their skin. Ew. Yeah, it hides that they've been there. So we know those similarities. But here's some differences between snakes and lizards. Check this out. If I poke her in the eye, I'm not really hurting her. I'm just brushing her eye. You see, what is she doing? Nothing. Now, are you sure? Look again. She's, she's, she's closing it, right? So open and close your eyes. What do you do that with? Our eyelids. Eyelids. Very good. Not blinkers with eyelids. Yeah. So she has eyelids. Do snakes have eyelids? No. No. That's why snakes are creepy to people. They just do this all the time. Yeah. They stare at you. They'll win every staring contest. You know that snakes even sleep with their eyes open? What? Yeah. yeah I get that every night. My wife says, close your eyes. It's creepy. But anyway. Hey, what are the holes on the side of the head? Her ears. Ears. Good. So she can hear with those ears. Do snakes have ears? No. Well, they do, but they're on the inside. You can't see them. They can hear and feel vibrations, but they can't hear us talking. Like she just heard me talking right there, and she's seeing this fan moving, so she's checking it out. Very cool. So she has ears. And, of course, what are these four things? Feet. Legs, Legs right. Legs. Do snakes have those? No. No, they do not. So that's another difference. All right, cool. So this animal right here likes to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, right? No. Oh, I know. She's from Australia. She eats Vegemite sandwiches, right? I know. <laughs> no, she doesn't like those. I don't either. They're really gross. Yeah. But Australians seem to like them. But here's the thing. She actually likes to eat fruits, nuts, berries, plants, snakes, eggs, lizards, mice, and insects. Y'all like eating that stuff? No. No, there we go. Yuck. Yuck. Yeah. So what do we call an animal that eats everything? Does anybody know what we call an everything eater? Oh, do you know it? I get omnivore. Good job. Everybody say omnivore. Omnivore. Very good. So she's an omnivore. She's an everything eater. Hey, what's this thing back here? Yeah. Oh, she can use it to whopper. <laughs> you never know what can happen, right? So she can use it to defend herself, yeah? So she actually has these little spines right here that can cut an animal's face or cut their leg, and she can get away. So that's a pretty good defense mechanism. All right. I need a volunteer that would like to touch this and tell everybody what it feels like. Yeah, you want to help me? Come on up. I had a girl. I need a boy this time. Hey, what's your name? JJ. JJ. All right, JJ, what I want you to do is touch going down towards the tail like that. What does that feel like, JJ? Hard. hard. Now, if you think that's hard, JJ, go up. Ooh, hokey, isn't it? Yeah, so if an animal comes in and bites them, they have these spines that lay backwards. They get poked in the mouth. All right, JJ, if you would, I'm not done with you yet. Touch these right there if you dare. Oh, you're brave. All right, touch them again. Are they sharp or are they soft? Soft. Soft. They look really, really sharp, and they're there to defend themselves and make themselves look bigger and kind of scary, right? All right. Now, JJ, you think you could hold this? All right. So put your hand up like a rock. All right. Turn it. There you go. There you go. I'm going to set it right there. Just hold it right there. Very good. Everybody give JJ a hand. That's awesome. Now, JJ, since they clap for you, give them two thumbs up. You need a hat, dude. Nice. Awesome. All right. Cool, JJ. Close to a predator for that. So they poof up, they make themselves look bigger, and then they can poke out all those spines, right? So, small, so look yeah. at that. They can look really big and scary by puffing up. So that's what they do that for. <sighs> all right, any other questions? Yes. So it's not really about the reptiles, but you did, like, they eat mice? Do they eat mice? Yeah, they can eat mice. Uh, they can eat mice, birds, bird eggs, snakes, lizards, fruits, nuts, berries, and plants. So they're an that's, omnivore. They're an that's everything that's eater. That's bad. I don't want it to go to my room because we have a lot of meat rats. Well, this one won't live around here. It's yeah. actually found naturally in Australia, but there are other lizards and animals that eat that kind of stuff. And that's part of the nature. That's just what they eat. Sorry, they don't all eat salads. I can't make them do that. All right, any other questions before we move on? 
All right, so remember, the first group of reptiles is made up of, everybody say, snakes, snakes. and wizards. And wizards. All right, very good. That's the first group. I want to introduce you to another animal that actually is in the snake and lizard family and see if you can figure out what it is. This guy comes from one of my favorite places of all to talk about animals. Everybody say, Africa. Africa. All right, so we're going to go to Africa. Now, you all told me you like to read books, but how many of you like to watch movies? Yeah. All right, cool. How many of you seen the movie of The Lion King, Lion King 2, one and a half, six and seven, eight, five and three, nine, <laughs> the new one? Okay, good. You're paying attention. All right, in the movie The Lion King, the star of the movie was a lion. What was his name? Simba. Simba. Simba, very good. Did you know all during that movie they were teaching you in an African language? Everybody say Swahili. Swahili. Yeah, Swahili is kind of a funny word, but that's a language spoken in Africa. And Simba is Swahili for lion. Simba means lion in Swahili. Make sense? All right, let's teach you some more Swahili. Everybody say Jumbo. Jumbo. Do you know what you just said? Hello. You said hello in Swahili. Now do this. Everybody say Jumbo Rafikis. Jumbo Rafikis. <laughs> Did you just say hello, baboons? Yeah. No. Hello, Remember there's a little baboon in that movie. His name is Rafiki. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, Rafiki in Swahili means friend. So everybody say hello, friends. Hello. Hello. Now everybody say Jumbo Rafikis. Jumbo it means the same thing. So you just said hello, friends. So when you go home tonight and you see your family, walk up to them and go, Jumbo Rafiki. And they're going to look at you funny, right? And you say, whoa, 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 whoa. We saw Mr. B today. He taught us Swahili. That's an African language. And that means hello, friend. And let me tell you about the African animals he showed us. You want to see some African animals? Yeah. Uh, so this guy, he comes from Africa. His name is Majuzi. Everybody say Majuzi. Yeah. When I get Majuzi out of you, think you know what he is, just silently raise your hand. We'll talk about him for a few moments. Let's see what we have. Majuzi from Africa. Let's see. Peekaboo. All right, buddy. Oh. So raise your hand if you can tell me what we're looking at here. We got some thoughts out there. All right. So what do you think this is? Is it an iguana? That's a good question. Is it an iguana? How many people think it's an iguana? All right, well, guess what? Iguanas do not come from Africa. They come from South America and Mexico. We even have some in Florida. And iguanas typically are green. Is this guy green? No. No, he's kind of gray, brown, and white. So this guy is not an iguana, but is he a lizard? Yeah. Yes. So he's related to? Snakes. snakes. So snakes and lizards are in the same family group. Now, first thing you notice, what's he doing there? Sticking, Sticking out his tongue. Now, this is a special kind of lizard called a savanna monitor lizard. Everybody say monitor lizard. Monitor Very lizard. good. Now, he has the word savanna on the front end of it. Looking at his colors, what kind of habitat does he live in, do you think? We talked about it. What do you think? Grasses and the sand, right. So he's actually a savanna monitor lizard because he lives in the savannas of Africa. Now with that tongue, why does he stick that tongue out, everybody? You remember? It's Tell me how loud. To smell. To smell. smell. They smell with their tongue. And remember, snakes and lizards have that in common. They smell with their tongue. All right, now, this guy, you think he likes to eat pizza? No. Does he like hot dogs? No. Oh, I know he likes cheeseburgers. No. no. He actually likes to eat mice, yes. Eggs, birds, yes. But you know what his favorite food is? What? He loves to eat termites. Y'all like eating termites? Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think so. But he loves termites. And here's why. He actually is very involved with termite mounds. Because his mama, Majuzi, by the way, Majuzi in Swahili means lizard. That's what that means. So his mom actually used the termite mound to do something very, very special so he could come into the world. Now, I want you to notice, what are these sharp things on the front of his feet called? Uh, what are these sharp things? Scales. No, they're on claws. the ends of your fingers. Claws. Nails. claws or nails, right. So he's got very sharp claws and he's got very strong muscles. Now here's why. If you've ever seen a termite mound, or maybe you can read a book and look for it, termite mounds stand about this tall. They look like chimney stacks and they're as solid as concrete. So guess what? Mama Majuzi likes to use her claws and her muscles and she puts a hole in the side of a termite mound. She goes in there and she lays these things. What are these? Eggs. Eggs, right. So she lays eggs inside of a termite mound. Now, you know what? Termite moms and dads are no different than our moms and dads. Do you ever have anybody in your life that says, clean your room, clean your room, clean your room? Anybody? Yes. Yeah, we were kind of talking about that earlier. So guess what? 
Termite moms and dads like a nice clean house too. So when a mama majuzzi comes in and tears up that house, their termite mound, and puts a hole in it, ooh, they get mad. You ever see anybody get red in the face and mad? Yeah. yeah. So they get really mad and they spit in the dirt and they make mud and they patch up the hole. Everybody go, uh-oh. Yeah, those eggs are now trapped in there. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. How many people think it's bad? How many people think it's good? All right, let's think about this for a minute. In Africa, is it hot or cold? Hot. 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 Yeah, the sun is beating down on the savannas, beating down on that termite mound. Now, an egg, does it need to be hot to hatch or cold? Hot. It needs to be hot. No, cold would be an omelet or <laughs> scrambled eggs, right? So you want to be hot, okay? So the, the actually is a good thing that those eggs are trapped in there. The termite mound actually incubates the eggs like an oven. Mama Machusi doesn't even have to stick around. She puts another hole in the termite mound, takes off. She lets those babies hatch. Now, when these babies hatch, what do you think they like to eat? Termites. termites. Do they have a buffet available to them? Yeah. yeah, so they eat all the termites they can. They get big and strong like Majusi here, and they put a hole in the wall of the termite mound. What do the termites do with that hole? They, they patch it up again. Everybody say, circle of life. Circle. Yeah, it's that circle of life we've heard about. It goes on and on and on. Hey, what's this thing back here? I tell. I tell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, so you never know what can happen. Yeah. So you can use it as a whopper, right? So he can actually use it to protect himself. And he also uses his tail for balance. So when he's running, all four of his feet go off the ground, and his tail is like a rudder that helps him get along. Pretty cool animal. So what do we call a meat eater, everyone? Everybody say carnivore. carnivore. Yeah. So this is the ultimate carnivore. He only eats meat. He doesn't like salad. Now we were talking about, <gasps> what's he doing here? Shedding. Shedding. You, want, you want that? Don't eat it. It's not very tasty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. So some lizards do like to eat those skins, but he doesn't like to eat his skin. He just lets it fall off. All right. Before we give somebody a chance to touch this, do I have any questions before we move on? You got a question? No. Okay. I'm not, I'll get to volunteers in a minute. You have a question? Are you making it shed or is it shedding? I don't make it do anything it doesn't want to, all right? But no, he sheds on his own because what happens here is his skin gets dry, just like ours does. Did you know that your skin sheds every night? Did you know that? No. Yeah, I can prove it to you. If you look in your bed and it ever gets dark brown or black or gray, that's your dead skin in there. Time to clean the sheets. Gross. All right, but here's the thing. As he grows, his skin wears out, and so it just kind of flakes off and falls off. So I'm not making that happen. I'm just helping him pull it off. See how colorful he is underneath? Yeah. Yeah. So right now he's pretty dull up here because this is old dead skin that's just coming out. Pretty cool. You have a question? Okay. All right. Do I have a volunteer that would like to touch this and tell everyone what it feels like? We just had a boy. I need a girl. You want to help? All right. Come on up. All right. Remember, everybody gets a chance to touch the last animal on the way out. All right. What's your name? Carter. Carter. All right, Carter. I want you to touch right there. All right. What's that feel like, Carter? Dry. Dry. Now grab the tail. Is that going to come off? No, I was just kidding. All right. Some, some lizard's tails come off. You can pull on it. It's pretty strong. Yeah, very cool. All right, Carter, I'm not going to let you hold this, but give him two thumbs up. Everybody clap for Carter. We'll let him sit right here. Nice. Awesome. Good job, Carter. All right, let's come right over here. Carter, Carter, Carter. come right over here. Let's get you some out of your soap. Nice job. Thank you for helping. Yeah, he did do that. All right, everybody say snakes and lizards. Snakes and lizards. All right, that's our first group of reptiles. All right, everybody say goodbye, Majuzi. Goodbye, Majuzi. All right, you guys ready to see another animal? Yeah. Right, cool. That's one big old bopper with right, two top. tails. Very cool. All right, well, let's keep things moving here. I want to show you our next animal. We're staying in Africa for this animal. Now, this guy, he is so famous, he has such a big head that his name is actually on this crate. So everybody say, Hatari. Atari. Very good. Now, it's not Atari video games, for those of you who know what I'm talking about. This is Hatari. Now, everybody, let's sound this out. Everybody say, huh. Now say Tari. Now say Hatari. Very good. Does anybody know what Hatari means in Swahili? Anyone? Anyone? All right, how about this word? Everybody say, peligro. Peligro. All right, very good. This is Spanish. Does anybody know what this means in Spanish? No. Everybody say, danger. Danger. Now, everybody go, uh. Oh. Uh oh so if peligro is danger in spanish what is hatari in swahili Safe. Safe. no it's danger too there we go oh no, oh, no. even better if we go dun dun dun. Dun, dun, dun 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 nice nice so guess what this guy is dangerous 
So I need your help. If you're in a chair, sit very, very calm and still. If you can, keep your legs still. And quiet, calm, and still would be very helpful because I want you to be safe. I want to be safe. I want him to be safe. Now, we talked about snakes and lizards. We need to move on to the next group of animals. It hopefully will give it away when I get this guy out. His name is Hatari. Comes all the way from Africa. Quiet, calm, and still for me. Let's see what we have. Peekaboo. All right. Oh, easy. Ow, that's going to leave a mark. Easy. All right, let's go. Pretty scary, right? So ferocious. So raise your hand if you can tell me what are we looking at here? We got some bots out there. What do you think this snapping is? Turtle. How many people think it's a snapping turtle? She's very specific. A snapping turtle. All right. So guess what? It's not a snapping turtle. So if it's not a turtle, what else could it be? A tortoise. A tortoise. So we have turtle, tortoise, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. I'm confused. How about you? So turtles live in the. Water, right. Tortoises live on the ground. Right. If you're a turtle, you have web feet. Wait a second. What kind of feet does this guy have? Claws. Claws, exactly. I'm going to borrow this chair because he gets to be quite heavy. So I'm going to borrow this for a moment just so I can use it as my my prop here. Okay, cool. That'll work. Oh, that's just aspen. That's just wood shavings. Yeah. You thought he was pooping, right? No, he's not doing that. All right, so we got these nice little claws. So he lives on land. If he's, uh, if he's on land, he must be a tortoise. tortoise. Very good. So let me show you something really cool. He's actually called an African spurred tortoise. You see those spurs back there, those yeah. pokey things? Mm -hmm. And they don't go jingle, jingle, jingle. They're there to protect them. Now you know something else that protects him. What's this thing called? A shell. Yeah. A shell, right. He can poke his head in there. He can put up his legs and he can block his head. So that's a pretty good defense mechanism. Now, you're probably scratching your head saying, Mr. B., why in the world would you name this guy Hatari or Danger? I mean, can he bite us? Yeah. No, he has no teeth. He has a beak. He eats green stuff that grows out of the ground called grass, grass and plants. What do we call a plant eater, everyone? Herbivore. Good. Herbivore. I would say herbivore. herbivore. Very good. You know what his favorite food is? He loves to eat grass and plants, yes, but his favorite food is cactus, thorns and all. Y'all like eating cactus with thorns? No. Here we go. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, but he can eat cactus with thorns and all without any problem. That's pretty cool. Now, here's why I named him Hatari or Danger. He's actually called Hatari or Danger because of the fact that he has a predator that likes to bother him, and he does something to protect himself. We know about those spurs back there, but there's something else i got to tell you about. Now, his predator, let's talk about predators. Everybody say predator. Predator. Say, it's an animal, it's an animal. That, eats that eats other animals. Other animals. All right, good. Now, I'm going to show you a picture of one. Bear with me here. i got a lot of things working at the same time. So tell me, what is this? A coyote. Not a coyote. He's not from Africa. A hyena. A hyena. Very good. So hyenas live in Africa. It kind of looks like a coyote, but hyenas live in Africa with Hatari. So guess what? Hyenas have very, very sharp teeth, very strong jaws. When this guy was one year old, he actually had to be very, very careful around hyenas because hyenas could actually crush his shell and eat him when he was one year old. He's actually now seven to eight years old. So hyenas don't bother him much anymore, but they do like to pick him up and carry him off and chew on him. And so when they pick him up and carry him off to chew on him, guess what Hatari does to the hyena? He goes to the bathroom in the hyena's mouth. Ew! Ew. Would you want to eat something that just went potty in your mouth? No! no. Here we go. Blah. Blah. So you see, he's not dangerous up here. He's dangerous back here. That's why I've got my tortoise diaper back there today. No party poopers at this library party, I promise. All right, keep that in mind. All right, cool. So this guy, he can get as big around as a 55-gallon trash can. He can weigh 120 pounds when he's full grown. He will live 100 years, all right? So everybody say turtles and tortoises. Turtles and tortoises. Right, so turtles and tortoises are in the same family. Do I have a volunteer that would like to touch this and tell everybody what it feels like? All right, let's see. Who had it. You want to help? All right, buddy, come on up. We had a girl. We need a boy this time. Come on over this side. I'm going to actually kind of sit here just so I can have you at my level. All right, so what's your name? Connor. Connor, all right, Connor, here's what I want you to do. I want you to touch his shell. Is that soft and mushy or hard and bumpy, Connor? Hard. It's very hard and bumpy, right. Now, Connor, do you know what your shell's made out of? It's something right there on your body. Any guesses? Show them, show them your fingernails. Yeah, everybody say fingernails. Fingernails. Yeah. So his shell's made out of the same thing as your fingernails. Everybody say keratin. Keratin. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Connor, do you think his shell grows with him his whole life, or does he jump out and get a new one? 
A lot of people think that, but Connor, I'm going to prove you a different. Oh, oh, Connor, ah. what did you push? <laughs> Connor, what did you do? Connor! Ew. I told you he could be a party pooper. Watch out! He just went to the bathroom. Yeah, I told you that. Why are you surprised? It's Connor's fault, right? Connor, it's Gunner. No, come here, Connor. I need you to look at this turtle shell right here. It's Gunner. Oh, Gunner. I'm sorry. I thought you said Connor. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Gunner, grab this turtle shell right here. There's nothing in it. All right, look inside of there. All right, is there a backbone in there anywhere, Gunner? Yeah. Look again. Yeah. Yes, all right. So there is actually a backbone on the inside of the shell. There's a backbone on this guy, too. So he's actually attached to a shell. So he can't jump out and get a new one, but he sure can give you a lot of water, can he there, Gunner? Pretty awesome. All right, come here, Gunner. Let's go ahead and touch him one more time. Get your picture. Very nice. Awesome job. Uh, you can put that back up. Let's get some magic soap there, buddy. Awesome. Very good. All right. There you go. Thank you so much. Nice job. All right, cool. Everybody say goodbye, Hattori. Absolutely. I told you you would. You guys don't believe me now. Yeah, and he's going to clean it up, too. All right. You're going to clean it up. Very cool. Well, that's why I brought lots of paper towels. It's just part of the party. Are you that worried about it? It's just water. We talked about that. If he eats a lot of cactus, what's inside a cactus? Water, water. Lots of water. So all that was was water. So we'll just help out Miss Norma here. It'll all go away soon. She can just put some soap on there. It'll be totally clean. I promise. All right, cool. You guys having fun? Yeah. Ready to see another animal? Yeah. Absolutely. Let's keep things moving. So we talked about snakes and lizards. We talked about turtles and tortoises. We need to go on to the next group of animals, all right? Now, I'm going to show you this next group of animals. you have a question before I do uh -huh. that? From the last animal, um, um, I didn't know that, uh, I knew that the, um, the tortoise was glued to it, and, but I, I also knew that, um, the, tor the tortoise's shell, um, um, he's actually, that's kind of his egg. Well, it's not really an egg. I'm glad you brought that up. Actually, they do hatch out of eggs, okay? That's a totally separate thing, all right? So eggs are separate. They hatch out of those. Their shell is part of their body their whole life, okay? So they're attached to it by a backbone. There's no glue involved. I know that's what you kind of think. But they're actually attached to it with skin. So if you notice, his skin actually enfolds all, all along here. So that's how they're attached, okay? That's kind of like a bone for them. Like well, yeah, it's their protection. You're right. So if you notice, see that backbone in there? See that? Yeah. Yeah, so they have a backbone. So that's how they're attached to it. And then the skin kind of holds them inside of that shell. All right, glad that you brought that up. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next animal. I want to show you this next animal. I know what I've got to do. I've got to show you this picture of this guy. All right, so we talked about snakes and lizards, turtles and tortoises. How about we talk about what's in this picture? An armadillo. That is not an armadillo. An Try an again. Armadillo. Alligators and crocodiles, absolutely. So I'm going to use a really cool guy to help you with this. This guy is Chompers. All right, here. I don't have an actual alligator in my collection right now, but I do have this. I have this really cool head here. This guy's name is Choppers. He came to me from Louisiana. I had a friend that gave this to me because he had it on his desk at the office. He used to put his business cards in there. Pretty cool. All right. So, yeah, he's an alligator head. This is an American alligator. And then we also have crocodiles. So that's the other group of uh, reptiles and cold-blooded critters. Now, let's talk about what are these sharp things? Teeth. Teeth. He's got 80 teeth. Very, very yeah. sharp. What are these bumps on the top of his head? Eyes. 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 Or are these bumps on the top of his nose? Snow? Well, this is his nose, but what are the holes called? Nostrils. Nostrils, good. So if you notice, his eyes and his nostrils are on top of his head because this guy likes to spend a lot of time in the desert, right? Under the sand, mm -hmm. right? No. 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 Where does he live? In the water. In the water. So he sits in the water. He's got his nose out of the water with his nostrils. His eyes are out of the water. So he's watching the shoreline, and he's looking for food. Now, this guy is going to be long body right here. He's got this big thing back here. What's this thing called? A tail. A tail, right? So he's going to sit in the water very still, and on his back, sometimes this green stuff grows. It's called moss, moss or, yeah, algae. So he can grow that on his back. When he's sitting there very still, he looks like a dead floating what? Long, wow. right. A little rabbit comes down to the water's edge to drink. He sees it. He swims over there and just goes, ah, like that. You got to be with me. You never know what can happen. All right, cool. Does he grab it? 
Yes, he does. So he actually lurches out of the water. He grabs it with his teeth. He pulls it underwater. He rolls around on it, and he sticks it under a log and lets it rot for a few days. Everybody go, gross. gross. Yeah. Then he goes over there, and he pulls off a piece of meat, and he swallows it whole. Pretty good. Yeah, that's what he does. Now, let me ask you. I heard you guys were swimming or going to go swimming. Are you going swimming this week? Yeah. I know you had some rain, but you guys like to swim? Yeah. All right. When you go swimming, do you ever get water in your ears? Yeah. Is that a drag? Yeah. If this guy spends a lot of time in water, do you think he ever gets water in his ears? Yeah. Does he even have ears? No. Yeah, he does. These little temp these little membranes right here are like tympanic membranes, so he can actually hear, but he doesn't get water in there because there's valves to close that off. So that's pretty cool. When you swim, do you ever swallow water? Yeah. Yeah. yeah is that kind of a drag? Yeah. Does this guy ever swallow water? No, if he did, he would sink like a ship, right? So he actually has a valve in the bottom of his throat that closes off. Hey, when you go swimming, do you ever wear goggles or a mask? Yeah. Does this guy go to Walmart and get goggles and a mask? No. no. He's got something really cool that I wish I had when I go scuba diving. He actually has lenses that's called a nictitating membrane. This clear lens goes right over his eye when he swims so he can see very clear underwater and it protects his eye when he's thrashing around on food. Wouldn't you love to have built-in goggles? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. So he has that. Now, when this guy swims, like you guys, when you swim, you do the doggy paddle, right? Yeah. No. You <laughs> no. He uses this big thing back here. What's it called again? Yeah. Yeah. Tail. And he goes, whoosh, 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 whoosh. And that pushes him along. He puts his legs along the side of his body, and he can swim very good. So these guys, alligators can get to be about 10 to 12 feet long. The longest one on record was the saltwater crocodile at 28 feet. Ooh. Yeah, maybe your teachers can help you measure out what 28 feet looks like. That's a long, long crocodile and very big. All right, very good. So everybody say, alligators and crocodiles. Alligators and crocodiles. Turtles and tortoises. Turtles and tortoises. Snakes and lizards. Snakes and lizards. All right, cool. We've talked about a lot of cool, cold-blooded critters. We've got to talk about one that most people don't know about. There is one other cool, cold-blooded critter that is in the group of animals we're talking about. Does anybody know what it's called? You think you know it? No. Nope, okay. I'm going to show you a picture. He actually is called the Tuatara. Everybody look at this picture. Everybody say Tuatara. Tuatara. All right, now this guy is an ancient lizard, all right? He's not in the snakes and lizards families. He's in his own family called the Tuatara. Now, you can do some research by reading about this. Maybe mom and dad say it's okay to look it up on the internet. The reason this guy is so cool, you know what he has on the top of his head? A third eye. A third eye. Yeah. So everybody say Tuatara. Tuatara. Very good. So everybody say snakes and lizards, snakes and turtles lizards. and tortoises, and tortoises. And alligators and crocodiles, alligators. and the Tuatara. Now you know the four groups of reptiles and the cool, cold-blooded critters we talked about today. Before I move on to our last animal, do you have a question? Uh-huh. All right. What is about the last one? About the uh, alligator or uh, about the, the tortoise? Crocodile. Okay. Um. Um. What's it? Um. I had it in my brain. That's okay. If you think about it, you can ask me later. Okay. That's cool. Any other questions before we move on? Mm. All right. You got a question? What's your question? They live in grass. They live in grass? Yeah, the savanna monitor. Yeah, you talked about that. But um, alligators and crocodiles live in and around marshes, so there is a type of grass that they live around. You're right about that. All right, you guys ready to see this last animal? Yeah. All right, so here's what I want to ask you. Have you had a good time? Yeah. All right, remember this. If you would, stay quiet, calm, and still for this next animal. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever heard that phrase, everything's bigger in Texas? Have yeah. you heard that? Yeah, we're pretty proud of our state and our country. But you know what? When you leave our state and our country and you go to a place like Asia, things get a lot better bigger. So I want to introduce you to a really cool guy that comes from Asia. But before we do that, I got a few public service announcements I want to share with you. All right. On your way out today, there's some cool stuff out there. You can pick up a poster that looks like this. If I have time, I can even try to sign it for you. Remember, everybody's going to get to ch touch this last animal on the way out. Stick around. I'll let you hold it. We'll probably do pretty much the whole group holding this. So uh, Miss Norma can videotape that and we can get pictures of you guys holding it. But the other thing is, check out our cool stuff on the table. We do, well, I want to ask you, anybody here ever have a birthday? 
Yeah, you know, we do birthday parties where we can bring animals to use. So there's a poster out there about that. Or you can look on the backside and share with your church, your scouts, your schools that we come to them and do shows as well. Um, another really cool thing, I know Miss Norma posted it on their Facebook page. After this adventure, guess what? If you're interested, you can buy a souvenir t-shirt that has one of our friends I didn't show you today. He's one of our stars. His name is Rufus. He's an opossum. So he's on our t-shirt. It says, I'm a wild child. So it's a pretty cool t-shirt. You can check that out if you go to Miss Norma's Facebook page or go to Wildlife on the Move, at Wildlife on the Move, and check that out. But guess what? This next animal, we're having a, a really cool contest right now today to vote on his t-shirt title. So you can check out our Facebook page where Miss Norma posted it today, and you can vote to figure out what would be on his t-shirt that's coming up soon, and you might want to buy that one. All these t-shirt sales support our animal care fund, so we appreciate you doing that. So again, check us out at Wildlife on the Move. You guys ready for this next animal? Yeah. All right. His name is Lemony. All right. He comes from Asia. When I get him out, if you think you know what he is, we'll talk about him for a few moments and see what you know about this guy. Another cool, cold-blooded critter. Let's see what we have. I know. That's a whole lot of enchilada. Enchilada. Yeah. So raise your hand if you can tell me what are we looking at here? Woo! Got lots and lots up there. All right. So raise your hand if you think you know what this is. What is this? A python. How many people think it's a python? She's exactly right. This is a python. This is a Burmese python. It is a Burmese python. Very good. Now, what colors do you see on this guy? Yellow. Yellow and white. Does he have camouflage? No. Not at all. He's like a big billboard that says, eat at Joe's. All right? So he can be seen out there in the wild. He actually should be brown, black, yellow, and white. That would be yeah. his camouflage. Now, let's recap some things. Why does he stick out his tongue, everybody? To smell. To smell. Very good. How does he catch his food? With his teeth. You know how many teeth this guy has? He has 200 teeth. 200. That's a lot of teeth. Now, his teeth are pretty cool. He's got a row of teeth on the upper gum line. He's got a row of teeth on his lower gum line. But even cooler than that, he's got two rows of teeth on the roof of his mouth. All right? So everybody say, catch. Catch. Very cool. So he catches with his teeth. Now, how does he kill his food? What did we talk about there? Everybody say, squeeze. Squeeze. Right. Squeezer snakes are actually called constrictors. All right? So this guy squeezes his food. Now, everybody do this next. Everybody say, stretch. Stretch. Very good. He's got loosely fit bones and stretchy skin that he can eat something two to three times the size of his head. This guy right now, he's about 10 feet long. He weighs about 70 pounds. You know what he can eat? Right now, he can eat rats that are jumbo rats. He can eat rabbits, and he can eat guinea pigs with no problem. Yeah, but when he gets to be, well, here's the deal. We didn't name him, so it's okay. Now, here's the deal. He can actually eat animals when he gets 20 feet long and 200 pounds. He can eat pigs, deer, and alligators. Is that pretty cool? Yeah, so he can eat really big stuff. All right, one other thing I want to show you right here. I want you to look at the front of his face. You see these holes on the front of his face? You see those? All right, everybody take your arm up and go, Woo! Ha ha, made you do it. All right, everybody say pits. pits. All right, does he have armpits? No. no, he doesn't. He has no arms and legs. But does he have pits? Yes. Yeah, he does. He's got heat sensing pits. That's what those holes are, all right? So you can actually sense warm blooded prey with those pits. So they're like, he's like a, a superhero of nature, right? So he can actually sense warm blooded things that are moving around even in complete darkness. All right, pretty cool. Before we move on to how we're going to touch this, does anybody have any questions? Yes. Um, I, have, I found, I remembered my question for the crocodile. All right. How does it fit a rabbit in his mouth, even if its mouth is so small? All right, so his mouth actually expands like we've been talking about. So when he grabs something, he just holds onto it, and then he swallows it whole. All right, so they, they don't really chew their food. How does that one get that the the prey in the its mouth same kind of thing all right so i'm going to show you you see that line right there on his jaw yeah, yeah. so remember where i told you they go sideways and they go up large they can actually stretch they have very stretchy skin and loosely fit bones that they're able to do that so this guy can actually eat something two to three times the size of his head all right so they're very stretchy that's how they can do it so they can expand or stretch another question Oh, he, was that, was that um, snake skin that you showed us earlier from the snake? This is from him, yes. The snake skin was from him. Another question here? Yes, sir, what's your question? 
How long did he get? Okay, these guys can get 20 feet long and weigh 200 pounds. But this guy's about 10 feet long right now. Weighs about 60, 70 pounds. Another question? Um, how old is he? Did you forget? That's okay. We'll come back to you. Again. How old is he? I hope you don't hold that. Well, I'm going to let you hold it if you want to. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> you had a question how old he is? This guy's about 15 years old. All right, they can live into their 30s. I have another Burmese python. Her name is WW. She's actually 28 years old right now, and she's about 15 feet long. Weighs about 80, 90 pounds. Okay. Another question. How big is its cage? How big is its environment? We don't really call them cages. So he's got an enclosure. Um, it's actually four by four by two. And so it's a very big enclosure for him to be in. Right now, he's just in his travel box. He doesn't live in that all the time. That's just for getting here and to and fro. All right, very good. Another question? Um, oh, that's okay. If you remember it, you can ask me. All right, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the oath to touching animals. Everybody show me two fingers like this. Say, I. I. Repeat your full name. <laughs> Happens every time. We're going to go towards the tail. It's not slimy, it's not wet, it's very smooth and dry. You don't have to touch if you don't want to, okay? Here's how this is going to work. You're going to touch, make sure you get some magic soap. On your way out of the room, go pick up some cool stuff, then come back in and have a seat on the chair. I'll call you up and we'll let you hold this. Sound good? All right, so we're going to start over here. Let me sit in this chair. I'll let you come by and touch him, all right? So first row, stand up. We're going to follow the leader here. Follow the leader. She's our leader. All right? <laughs> Very good. We're going to follow the leader. So touch, touch and go that way. Very nice. Cool. Magic soap's right here on the corner. Go on out, get some cool stuff, and then come back if you guys want to hold it. Awesome. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Later on, okay. Go out, cool and then come back. All right. You don't have to if you don't want to, but come back and have a seat. All right, second row, come on, follow the leader. Very nice. Yep, follow the leader. Yeah, he's our leader. Good job, Gunner. All right, touch and go that way. Put the magic up. Uh, magic soap. Soap stuff. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, that is soft. It is very soft. He's a very soft baby. Very nice. Hey, everybody. We should have like an advertisement saying pregnant people should. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. Mom. <laughs> it's okay. Pregnant people are allowed to touch too. All right, if you guys would, have a seat in the chair. Did I'll you already call you touch up and him, we're going to let you hold it. Is that all the animals in there? That's it. I brought you everybody. All right, everybody have a seat. Where do you get all these animals? Most of these animals come to us as rescued, discarded pets. We didn't get him from the wild. He's stuck. No, oh, no, he's not. There is no stuck with a snake. It's just, it's, he's just, just tangled. Yeah. Does he like rapping? You, you, you want me to help you? No, can you show well, us how hang on. I'm going to get him off this chair so I can give you guys a chance to touch him. Oh, okay? he's slithered. He's, yeah, he's, alive. he's okay. <laughs> he's a good boy. He's a good, he's very sweet. Oh, I saw this. He's going to You were here. Okay. How many have you seen him before? We went somewhere and we saw like... At the other place, remember? Yeah. yeah. There we go. I God, miss you guys boy. coming to story time and summer reading. He's just keep on going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's huge. So here's what we're going to do. He is determined. Okay. All right, so we're going to go the opposite side. If you want to hold him, sweetie, you're going to be my line leader. Come around his tail all the way up here to me. You guys, if you want to hold him, come okay, around. Okay, I'm going to stop the video, and I'm going to do pictures now, okay? That's fine. Come on over. Bye. All right, cool. You guys, just walk around him. Walk around. Don't jump walk because around. you might bump him. Uh, okay. All right, let me put him up. Oh, yeah, he's heavy. How do you carry it? With muscles. With muscles. Oh my gosh. Is there not a snake in there? That's it. No, well, that's it. Okay, now you can say goodbye. 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 Not you, um, yeah. Mr. Yeah, Eric. Goodbye, Mr. B. Say goodbye, Lemony. Bye, Lemony. Yeah, like I said, you guys can vote on his t shirt that's coming up. It's on the Facebook so page. If the they room. want you know, want to vote and vote. How's the carry those boxes with muscles? With muscles. All right, who did not get a sticker that walks with?
Awesome. Very cool. Yep. Cool. I'm gonna put it on the shirt. Where do you go? All my stuff. My the animals all come to us as rescued oh. and discarded pets. Do they just walk over it? Or do they... No. Like what that means is somebody found them, right? Uh, Either like they were you. abandoned in a house or animal control found them or somebody gave them to us. Like, right? So we don't get our animals from the wild. That would not be a good thing, right? No. We get everything given to us. No, so like that guy was given to us because he used to live in a dog crate. He's not good at all. That's not where they should live, right? So we got him from that kind of situation. Any other questions before you guys go? No, 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 no. Yes. Where do y'all get like these stickers? Uh, from a store. Yeah. From a printing store. Any other questions? All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us and going wild. We hope to see you soon. Bye. Have a great summer. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.